When it comes to keyboards and mice, there's a lot of personal preference. Because the mouse and keyboard are used to interact with the computer, the size and shape of the mouse, and the layout, look, and feel of the keyboard you choose is individual to you. Look for a mouse that fits well in your hand with buttons you can easily reach. Mice can have several buttons. Along with the standard left and right buttons, there can be buttons that bring up your favorite search site, forward and backward buttons for your browser, as well as zoom buttons. Most multi-button mice come with a utility allowing you to customize what each button does. The scroll wheel lets you quickly scroll through websites and documents. Some mice also let you scroll horizontally with the scroll wheel. Touch-sensitive mice allow you to use the surface of the mouse to scroll vertically and horizontally. You can use gestures to switch between apps or open the start menu, among other gestures. There are two motion tracking methods used on mice today, optical and laser. Optical mice use an LED light and a sensor, while laser mice use a laser and a sensor. Laser tracking allows for higher sensitivity and precision than optical tracking. A mouse's sensitivity is measured in DPI or dots per inch. 800 DPI is standard. Higher DPI settings are used in games to give you greater precision for aiming. Gaming mice come with a utility that lets you change the sensitivity to your liking. For some gaming mice, the DPI is adjustable on the fly using controls on the mouse. There are many types of keyboards. There is the standard straight keyboard. Microsoft has their natural keyboards, where the keys are angled. There are slim keyboards that give you the feel of a notebook keyboard. Gaming keyboards give you programmable keys, allowing you to create macros of several key presses and play them back with a single key press. The keyboard feel is another issue. Some keyboards have keys that feel soft when you press. Other keyboards feel harder, and there's more of a click when you type. Most mice and keyboards connect through a USB port on the computer. Older mice and keyboards use PS2 ports. Wireless mice and keyboards are also available. A wireless receiver connects through USB. Both wireless mouse and keyboards will run for months on one or two AA batteries. If you're a big gamer, keep in mind that wireless adds a slight delay to your movements and clicks. A wired mouse and keyboard may be best. Wired mouse and keyboards run between $10 and $90 each, depending on the features and ease of use. Wireless mice run between $15 to $80 when purchased alone. Wireless mouse and keyboard combos are between $25 and $130.